This is a presentation on the ergonomic related components of the SAE Formula Electric Vehicle, presented by Patrick Mazel, Landon Lee, Joshua Dryad, and Edward Riley. Our advisor for this project was Dr. Robert Pieri. When we started this project of improving on the ergonomic related parts of the SAE Electric Vehicle, we decided that our focus should be on taking the existing parts and improving on and innovating each of them in one or more ways. And despite making major design changes throughout the project, either due to the changing constraints of the SAE Formula Club or the changing situation due to outside parameters, this remained our goal and gave us a target to focus on when creating these four components. For the dashboard, our goal was to improve upon the existing thin plate example by creating a more stable and better fitting design. To that end, after compiling ideas, we decided on a 3D printed dashboard design that protrudes out towards the driver, divided into four sections for easy printing and adjusting. This design allows for support for the switches and displays, grooves to fit securely in the frame and holes created for brass inserts to clamp to the frame tubing. It also allows for changes to be easily made in the future by printing off a new quarter instead of redoing the entire dashboard. For the seat design, each team member created two initial concept drawings and the final design was chosen based on a predetermined set of criteria. Our original designs changed to incorporate mounting holes, lap harness pass-throughs, side bolsters, and a more ergonomic back profile than the original SAE seat. This would accommodate a broad range of driver sizes called out in the SAE guidelines. Our proposed manufacturing process changed from originally using a fiberglass mold to cast a carbon fiber positive to overlaying carbon fiber around six carved foam seat sections using an epoxy resin hardening mixture. The main concern with the steering assembly for the SAE Formula Electric Group was the amount of free play or rotational slack in the past steering assembly. Everything else about the steering assembly was left unchanged. To remedy the play, we decided to go with the one to one right angle gearbox and made sure all connecting parts had a snug fit. This resulted in almost no free play in the steering assembly. At the request of the SAE Formula Electric team, we left the connecting rods long enough to allow them to cut later once the frame is constructed. Lastly, the adjustment system for the pedal box. Our main concern with the previous system is that it would require getting underneath the car and removing four bolts to adjust the placement of the pedals. Our approach was to add a screw rod that would move the pedals forward and backwards by twisting the end closest to the driver. This can easily be achieved by inserting a narrow rod through the screw to gain enough leverage to turn the screw with ease. This design allowed for the pedal box to be more easily and more precisely adjusted. Like the steering system, we left the screw rod longer to allow them to cut it to the correct length once the frame is constructed. At the conclusion of this project, we have completed all deliverables for the Formula SAE ergonomics in accordance with the wishes and requests of the SAE Formula Electric team. Our design has allowed for increased comfort, ease of operation, and improved functionality of the cockpit for the SAE Formula Electric vehicle.